In this video, we're going to learn how to print the last letter of each word in a string using C. So if we have a car array called string, which stores the string basic video, comma, good code, the last letter of each word in the string is going to spell out code because we have C, O, D, and E. We'll first include a few libraries to help us solve this problem. We'll include the string.h library because this library includes a function called strlen, which is going to find the length of a string. We'll also include the ctype library. This library includes a function called isAlpha, which is going to return true if the character it's passed as an argument is a letter and false otherwise. We'll also include the stdbool library, because this library allows us to use a bool type variable and the values true and false. Now to solve this problem, we're going to examine the string one character at a time in order. We'll make a loop to go through each index of the string car array one at a time in order using a counter variable. In order to know when to stop the loop, we're going to find the length of the string. We'll use the string length function strlen to do that. We'll have here strlen to call the function and we'll pass it our string. This is going to return the length of the string not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. And we'll store that length into an int type variable called length with int length is equal to the return value of calling the function. So this string car array has at the very last index a null terminator character. So at the index length, there is this special null terminator character that signifies the end of the string we're actually going to have our loop counter variable go up to and including that index. And I'll explain why in a minute. So let's make a loop to go through each index of the car ray string with a counter variable. So we'll have a for loop here with a counter variable i that's going to be initialized to zero. And we'll have i go up until and including length by one with each loop iteration. So in the first iteration of this loop, i is going to be zero, which is the first index of the string car array. Then after i is incremented, in the next loop iteration, i is going to be one, which is the next index of the string car array. And i is going to continue to be incremented with each loop iteration, and we'll go through the string one character at a time, including the index of the null terminator character here, which is the index length. And what we'll do is create a bool variable to keep track of whether we're currently reading a word. We'll use this bool variable to identify when we have reached the end of a word. We'll have here bool and reading word is equal to false. We initialize the variable to false because initially we haven't read any characters yet, so we can't be reading a word yet. Now we're going to consider words to be made up of only alphabetic characters from A to Z whether they're lowercase or uppercase. We're going to consider non-letter characters like space and comma to be non-word characters. We'll use this to help separate words from non-words. So down here, what we'll have is an if statement in the for loop body. To recognize that we have begun reading a word, we'll have here if not reading word is true and is alpha returns true when it's passed the character in the string at the index i, in other words, the character that we're currently reading, then we're going to say that we are now reading a word with reading word is equal to true. So again, reading word is going to be false if we're not currently reading a word. So not reading word is going to be true if we're not currently reading a word. And if that's the case, and the character in the string at the current index is an alphabetic character, we've just encountered the first letter of a new word, and we set reading word to true to acknowledge this. So in the first loop iteration, reading word is going to be false. And we'll see here that this character is an alphabetic character, and we'll set reading word to true. Then what we'll do is continue to read the string one character at a time but we're going to want to recognize when we have reached the end of this word here, which is going to be when we encounter this space character here. So we'll have an else if case for that. We'll have here, else if reading word is true. So if we are currently reading a word and if the character at the index i is not alphabetic. 
So if not is alpha, when it's past the character in the string at the index i is true, then we have reached the end of a word. And what we'll have is reading word is equal to false to acknowledge this. So once we reach this character here, the space character after the C here, we're going to have that reading word is still true because up until that point, we have been reading this word, but this character here space when passed to is alpha is going to result in false and not false is going to be true. So we'll have true and true and we'll set reading word to false to acknowledge that at this point, we're no longer reading in a word. Now this character here, the one before index I is going to be the last letter of the last word that we've read. And we'll put that here. We'll have printf with percent %c to output a character, and we'll have string at the index i minus one. So the last character before this one, we'll put that character. Now the loop will continue, and next we'll encounter this lowercase v character. Now at this point, reading word is false, so not reading word is going to be true, and is alpha is going to return true when passed lowercase v. And so again, we'll set reading word to true, and we'll continue to read through this word one character at a time until we encounter this comma character here, at which point we're going to output lowercase o, and we'll set reading word to false. And then we'll read in this character here. And in this case here, even though we have reading word as false and not reading word is going to be true, the space character is going to result in is alpha returning false. So we're not going to do anything yet. Then when we encounter this G character here, not reading word is going to be true because reading word is still false. And this time is alpha is going to return true because the character is lowercase g and we'll set reading word to true. And it's going to continue like this. Now in the last loop iteration, when i is equal to length, which is the index of this null terminator character here, is alpha is going to return false when it's past the null terminator. And so not is alpha is going to be true. Now reading word is going to be true because we are currently reading a word here. So at that point, we'll output this lowercase e here as the last letter of that last word in the string. And so that's why we have our counter variable i go up to and including the actual index of the null terminator. So after this loop is done, we'll output a new line character here with printf backslash n. Then we'll save compile and run our program. And we do get here code as the answer, which is correct because our string basic video good code does have C O D E as the last letters of the words in that order. So this is how we can print the last letter of each word in a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.